Hades is getting close to our bunko night, so I just wanted to do a real quick video to explain to you a little bit about how bunko is played. When you walk in, you're going to sit down at a table. There's going to be four people to a table. You're going to pair up with a partner. Everybody sits down. When you hear this little bell go off, then you begin the round. First round is going to be the number one. So you're going to pick up your three dice. Every table has three dice and you're going to roll the dice and you're going to see how many ones you roll. In this case, I just rolled one. So I get one point, but I get to keep rolling because I rolled a one. I roll again. I didn't get any ones. So my turn is over. Hand it to number the next person. They roll and they keep rolling until they no longer roll ones. And then when they're finished, their turn is over, they hand it to the next person. And we just keep going around and around and around until we hear. Once we hear that, we add up our score. Um, we see which team won. And if you're the team that won, then you're gonna pick up your little scorecard and you're gonna find the dice that is the number one. And you're gonna put a W for a win or an L for a loss. And then you're gonna to go to the next table and you're gonna sit there, pair up with a partner. Again, it can't be the same person. It's gotta be another person. And you wait until you hear. And then the second round starts. In round two, you're gonna be rolling twos. So you take your dice, you roll. I rolled a two, so I get one point. It's always just one point. I keep rolling. I got another two, so I get another one point. And I keep rolling. I got another two, so I get another one point. Let's see? Ah, I rolled two twos, so I get two points, one and one. And you, I keep rolling until I no longer get twos, and I pass the dice to the next person. They do that, and you just keep going around and around until you hear then you add up the total points for the for your, your team and for the other team. And if you won that round, once again, you pick up your card on the dice that has number two on it. You either put win or you put a loss. Okay, that's the basics of the game. At the very end, you add up all your points and whoever has the most points wins the most. Whoever has the most points is the winner. The most wins is the winner, not points because just the most wins is the winner of the most wins and whoever has the most losses is the winner of the most games lost and there's a couple other prizes that we give out. Now when you're at a table you're going to have a card to show you what you're to do at each table. Let's say you're sitting at table number five and then if you win and you were at table number five, you're going to read the instructions that say winners go to table four and the losers stay here. So you know exactly what to do. If, you, if you're a winner and you go to the next table, like I said, don't have the same partner. If you're rolling, it's your turn to roll. And let's say you're rolling for threes, you're the dice, the dice number you're looking to roll is threes and you actually roll three threes, it's called a bunko and your team gets an extra 21 points. In addition to your team getting the 21 points, which most likely will give you the win for the round, you also get one bunko point. And at the bottom of your score sheet, you have a little place that says bunkos, and you put a little one, meaning you, you, you rolled one bunko. And if you roll another one, you, put, you keep adding them up. Because at the end of the game, you get a prize for the per person who wins the most bunkos. Now, if you roll three numbers, but they're not the number that we're rolling at that time, it's called a mini bunko, and you get five points for your team, as well as you write down on the bottom, mini bunkos. You put a little one to keep track of how many mini bunkos you roll throughout the whole game. So you just keep going round one, ones, then you roll twos, threes, then you roll fours, you roll five, you roll sixes, and then we start all over again for two rounds. And really, that's pretty much it. There's a few other things in there that may happen, but you will be 
um, explained to, or you will be told at that time what to do. It's very simple. It's really basically just rolling all the dice. So anyway, uh, don't forget you must bring your own writing um, utensil um, and you must bring a $5 gift card, please. And please try and show up a little early so if you have, you have time to eat or to drink because we want to order something to eat or to drink to support the facility since they're kind enough to be giving this to us for free. We don't want to be charged. Um, we plan to do more fun events here if they'll let us. So let's keep that in mind. And also, very importantly, uh, no-shows don't last long in our group. Um, they're voted off the island. And uh, last-minute cancellations when there's a waiting list, really almost as bad as a no-show. If they happen, if there's a pattern, we just remove you from the group because we feel the group's not something that you really value. So please keep that in mind because that's really important to this group. Um, and we just have such a wonderful group of women, and I'm sure you're not one of them, so disregard it if you're not. Anyway, look forward to seeing you, and that's it. Bye. Boom.